I texted Tom in the thrift store a couple hours ago and I asked him uh, you know, what he thought of this chair. And he said it was really ugly. He says, uh, yeah, ugly is good, but not this ugly. Well, Tom. Yes! Yes! All right, so uh, besides the ugly chair, and the new power rack. I did paint this pegboard over here and rearrange these things. One thing that's important is, if you guys send me a horse head, I will put it up here. So, so far, I've gotten a couple of these unicorn masks from you guys in mail time. My goal is to fill up this entire pegboard with horse masks. So if you send me a horse mask or unicorn mask or anything that resembles these guys, it will go on the wall. I will push all this other shit to this other one. I just want an entire wall filled with horse masks. That's my that's my dream. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you? Other than that, we have. Oh look, I drew a glued hand bench. Look at my glued hand bench. Look at it. Do you see my glued hand bench? I drew. I drew a glued hand bench. So I have a question. What kind of bar storage should I do? Okay, so I was thinking like laying all the bars across the wall if you guys check out elite fts gym they just have their bars laying on walls and there's a hell of a lot of bars there so if you got any interesting bar storage ideas aside from just laying them on the wall let me know i know they have gun racks for them but you know that that's so that's that, no that's just too boring i could do better than that so think of something maybe i could put the bars on the ceiling you 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 could you these, okay. I think the biggest upgrade that I've done so far is this. Check it out. See it? Do you see it? I don't see it. Yeah. It's a speaker. It's a loudspeaker. We got another loudspeaker over here. You can see it on the wall back there. My fingertip is on it. It's in focus again. Right in here. Just oh. keep your eyes unfocused. Wow. Fingertip is on it. I'm gonna focus again. Another loudspeaker. Kind of got an argument with Eric Bugenhagen off camera when he was here last and he disagreed with me. I thought that music was important, but you know, there's martial artists and people who, you know, dojos, think of a martial arts dojo. They, they train without music, but he seemed to think that music was as important as food. It was as important as sleep. It was important as air. So having a, a good sound system was gains for him. What am I saying now? Oh, okay. I got this sumo deadlift bar in the mail. Uh, it is a Texas power bar. Basically, it's a, uh, a traditional deadlift bar, like that one over there, except for the knurling has changed. So don't rip up your shins. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I need to do some cardio. We're gonna do mail time. I do have a lot of mail. But before we do mail time, I'm gonna do reverse mail time. So basically, I'm sending you guys stuff now. It's reverse mail time! Okay, so first order of business. Uh, sometimes we sell out of things on um, Acrobox.com so fast uh, that the inventory doesn't adjust or actually it's not speed, it's just negligence on our part in inventory keeping. So my fulfillment partner ran out of Acro Awesome and I had to take some off my shelf for three of you guys. Next order of business is, I've picked three of you guys from Acrobolics.com. I just sort of sorted by the amount of money people are spending and customer and see how many orders are placed. Nicholas Twine or Twine Flu. I've noticed that you've ordered like seven pairs of pants. So, and I don't think you've ordered this color. This is a discontinued color called Agile. Next we have Kyle Brugman. And uh, I noticed that he has ordered a lot of pants and supplements. You guys, you guys are fucking cool. So I really appreciate your support. One of my highest buyers, um, 
If you guys put in a phone number in your order and you buy a lot of stuff, I might just call you. So I called this guy on the phone and he was really excited. He's a trucker and I invited him to come by and hang out sometime. But more importantly, I noticed that he has bought an insane amount of green stuff, okay? Uh, and he loves it, he says he takes it every morning. He also likes Twilight, so this is mine. I'm gonna have to get some more for myself. And uh, so I'll be sending those to you. Those are the first three guys for reverse mail time. It's upside down mail time! Okay. Ice bath AF. Get one on Acrobox.com. Uh, I can't open this. This is from my uh, printer. This is a secret shirt design we're working on. Actually, didn't mean for that to be here. So, next we have something from Barry. Barry again? Barry, you're the same guy that sent me this knife, dude. What did you send me this time, buddy? All right, Barry. You, God, no, you sent me macaroni. I'm going to kill you. Barry, did you send me macaroni? See, Barry, yeah, it's, oh. He, he packed it in macaroni, but it's not macaroni, okay? He, uh, all right. Barry, they sent me a nice note. Oh, wow, holy crap. Oh, Tom, he sent you something. Juji Mufu, these are custom knives, man. Nice knives that are, ooh. All right, I don't know how to get this knife in, dude. These knives are different. Oh yeah, this is awesome. If you guys keep making videos where a knife is needed and one isn't handy, then by golly, I'm going to keep sending them using this new knife. I'm gonna open this one from Robin B. She's my other mother-in-law. Oh, she's making fun of me because she keeps seeing that I wear a cape in a video. And now I have a pink cape. Okay, super cat. Super cat. Super kitty. Super kitty, wee! Okay, so next we have something from, uh, looks like customer service, so I don't even know if this is really for mail time, but we'll see. Ah! <laughs> it's upside down. It's upside down <laughs> mail time. <laughs> and, it, and it's really upside down, look. The tank top part's at the top, and there's a saw. It's upside down mail time! No. Please hang this above your chalk board beside your big black clock. No, not a bubble wrap. Here, that's a bubble wrap. Get out of here. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy fuck! That's some Juji Mufu original art. Wow. Oh, he drew me a singlet too. Well, you have to see it. Get any closer to the camera. Well, I'll just hang it up on the wall. Thank you, Brandon Brown. That's a good spot. I agree. I know you're watching because you knew that spot was available too. That's, that's one of the coolest things about you requesting that spot. You just knew it was empty. Perfect. Hey everyone, give this guy a thumbs up, Brandon. Brandon Brown, give him a thumbs up. He'll comment below. So we have a super Mufu board. So far we have like 13 names or something. Um, and generally, they're good people. So the last person on our board was Mr. Dick. We have a few new names. Barry. Thank you, Barry, for the support. You are my friend. Brandon Brown, check out his page. Or perhaps, when he comments, if you want a drawing of yourself, he might, uh, you know, sell one to you for a price. It's called a artistic uh, commission. So, what the fuck is that? One of you crazy guys sent me a Wing Chun dummy, but uh. I think Wing Chun dummies typically have more than uh, one arm. I, can, I didn't even know you could send stuff like this. This is crazy. All right, we gotta cut this thing up. What is this thing?
first person on the planet with a chalk ball that's a giant iron banana. <laughs> this is insane. It has a mustache. Look, a shelf. It's awkward. Holy crap, that is solid. It is a freaking banana. It's an ammonia inhalant shelf. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's actually what it was meant to be for. It's a chalk bowl that is a giant iron banana with a mustache, an ammonia inhalant shelf, and a rack. Oh, yes! Somewhere. There it is. All right. Hard not to send a bunch of pics while I was finishing it up. He wants to thank me for the great videos. And this guy used to eat a lot of peanut butter M&Ms and Tic Tacs, but he switched his diet around and lost 50 pounds in three months. Yeah, he's lifting every night, hitting supplements and vitamins, protein, fish oil. He enjoys seeing Tom in the videos, working out and changing his physique too, and he wants to thank me for everything. He says, sorry about the packaging, I'm no good around Christmas either. Brandon. Brandon! What the fuck? This is the coolest chalk bowl I have ever seen. This is perfect because I was actually not working out the past couple of days because I was saving it to do some sumo deadlifts on my new sumo deadlift bar. And now I got a giant iron banana chalk bowl. Yes! You're going on the super mufu board over here. There's a few ways to get on the super mufu board. One, you make good comments regularly and we notice you. Two, you send me lots of knives and you make good comments regularly. And three, you make me an iron chalk bowl that looks like a banana with a mustache. <laughs> Sumo deadlifting time, weightlifting bar one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, the deadlift bar is longer, okay? So why is it longer? Because if it's longer, it's gonna bend more and so it's actually easier because you're actually starting to lift higher. Also, the diameter on the bar is like a like one millimeter less, so it's actually easier to grip. Now, sumo deadlifting bar is pretty much the same thing. They are the same length, but here's the difference. Okay, here's the knurling, knurling, knurling. Oh, knurling's gone. No more knurling. And if anyone has ever used a deadlifting bar before, what they'll know is that it absolutely is like a cheese grater for your shins. Let's just give that a try. The deadlift bar is knurling is like shark tooth. It's like sharp as knives. It is meant so that when you grip it, it tears your hands apart. It's absolutely retarded. They don't need to make knurling that tight. You could just use more chalk. It's not that big of a deal. All right. If, if your grip, if the difference between you lifting a weight and not lifting it is within a few pounds and you're going to blame the knurling, you can go flush yourself down a toilet because you're an idiot. I find that when I do sumo deadlifts, it's more of a shin scrape than a conventional deadlift. So it's even more important for me. Now I'm gonna be deadlifting in jeans. So, I mean, that helps a little bit, but, but, but I'm gonna be deadlifting in jeans. So it really doesn't matter. I used to think barbells were pretty complicated, but they're really not. I mean, basically you could just look through a few different bars on a website like Rogue's website and they got little cartoon images of like whip and uh, tensile strength and all this other crap. And after just learning what a couple of those mean, you can pretty much just determine why certain bars are certain ways. I guess I'm not gonna be resting in between sets on my new vomit gold colored chair. My workout for the day is uh, just worked up to my working weight, 550 pounds for as many number of reps and as many number of sets as I can do. All right. Whoops. There we go. 
550 for whatever. Oh, 
Five by five. We push ourselves to the maximum. There is something. Yes. Yeah. Similar deadlifts. Shit. Yes. 